All right, Darius, I'm going to take your height. So the first thing I want you to do is take your shoes off for me, please. I'm going to have you step on the scale, and I'd like you actually to face away from the scale. Go ahead and take a little step back. Stand straight up. Tilt your chin up just a hair. I'm going to move your hair to the side so I don't pinch it in the scale. Good. Go ahead and step straight out. Great. I have you at 66 and 3 quarter inches. For the BIA, you're going to want to make sure that the scale is clean and you have to make sure that your client removes their shoes and socks. You're first going to turn on the BIA by pushing the power button. Once the BIA is set, ensure that there is paper within the Tanita Bioelectrical Impedance. Next, we're going to enter in our weight for clothing, which is 0.6, and then we press enter. At that point, we can follow the prompts and the LEDs, and we'll just go straight down the list. First, we're going to choose body type. Our client is going to be standard. This individual is a male, and now we're going to enter in his age. Our client is 25, so we type in 25, enter, and we wait for the prompt. We've already taken his height from a previous assessment, and we know that he is 5 foot, 6 inches tall, and then we press enter. The Tanita is going to then prompt us after clearing for our client to step on. At this point, our client would step on the scale, and then we will receive our printout, and we will discuss the printout and normative values with our client at that point in time. Darius, I'm going to do your Tanita bilateral impedance. So the first thing we need you to do is take off your shoes and socks. We've entered, we've entered in your body type, your gender, your age, and your height, and now this scale is telling us that it's ready for you to step on. So at this point in time, step on. Stay on the scale until I have the printout, okay? So try to stay as still as possible. The scale is a little sensitive, so we will make sure we get your weight. Great. Go ahead and put your shoes and socks on, and we'll go over the results. All right, so now that we have your results, we'll go over it. First of all, you need to know that the Tanita Biological Impedance you, works by using the water in your muscles and the water in your fat, as well as a small electrical current. So while you are standing on that scale, it sent a small electrical signal up one leg, across your torso, and then down the other. So we know that muscle holds more water than fat, so if that signal goes through your body fast, the scale assumes that you are made up of more lean muscle. If the scale sends the signal and it goes through slower, then we know there's a little more resistant and it assumes that you're comprised of more fat. So now that we're looking at your readout, we see that it prints out your body type, your gender, your age, your height, it has the amount entered in for clothing, and then we get down to the actual results. We see your weight, and that's recorded at 201.2 pounds. We have a fat percentage, which is 28%, and then we have a fat mass. We have fat mass recorded as 56.4 pounds, fat free mass listed as 144.8 pounds. So what that means is if we take your total weight of 201.2 uh, pounds and we multiply that by 28.28%, the fat mass is showing that 56.4 uh, of your 201.2 pounds is fat. Okay. Everything else, that's your fat-free mass, hair, nails, tissue, organs, fluid, waste, that makes up the remaining amount of the poundage, okay? We also go down and we have this TBW, this is total body water. So what that's good for is it gives us an idea of what your hydration status is. So we take the total amount of weight that your total body water is, which here it says is 105.4 pounds, we divide that by the 201.2 pounds, and that gives us a percentage of 52.4%. For males, we're looking at a normative value of 60 to 70% hydration status, okay? So for us, we'd wanna help you to increase that, and that's gonna be something that takes months of occurring, so you can get water through uh, your food sources, uh, obviously water, bottled water, different types of juices and drinks, 
However, we want to ensure a healthy, positive way of doing this and encouragement. So we're going to say whole foods and water, okay? And over a course of months, that number is going to come up, which is what we'd like to see. Uh, a normal body fat percentage for an individual like yourself is we're looking to have it somewhere between 15 and 25% for males, and that is considered heart healthy, okay? Depending on your goals, then we may look at adjusting that body fat percentage based on, you know, you said you wanted to lose some weight earlier, so we will start to use some of this information to see if you've improved, stayed the same, or have gone the other direction, okay? Do you have any questions? I don't know. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna give you this handout, so it's gonna have the information attached, and then that way if you have other questions, you can feel free to reach out to me. Thank you. You're welcome.